Hey, we back. I'm here on my day and we're doing a video today on what you should do if you only want one character in the bot. Uh, there's a lot of people that use my day and only want one particular character or maybe only want a couple of characters, maybe only want the characters on their like list, you know, whatever. Um, because of course the bot in essence is about collecting characters that you like and if there's not too many characters that you like then um, what are you going to do about it? Um, this is one of the main reasons as well that people uh, still go for the silver badge and stuff first because they want to try hard getting this one character and obviously the silver badge is the one that helps that. Well, that's up for debate um, because actually the silver badge, as I've said in many videos, uh, doesn't really help with anything at all. Um, and uh, the method of which to get one particular character or a small number of particular characters is pretty much the same as uh, getting anything else in the bot um, and I'm going to explain why that is today and maybe what it is that you can do slightly differently in order to help you out. So let's just suppose you're trying to get one particular character. They're not that high ranked, they're not stupidly low ranked. For example, I could say Menhera Chan. Oh, you can tell that I like Menhera, she's in my profile picture. Um, I can check Menhera Chan on the bot. She's about 200 Kakara. Okay, she's about 400 on here because I've got 14 keys on her. But putting that aside, she's not worth that much. She's uh, 600 rank, 1400 likes. Um, you know, not that high, not that low, kind of medium. Now let's suppose I only wanted to get Menhera Chan. So, uh, first of all, as I've said before, the silver badge doesn't really help that much. There's 70,000 characters in the bot, and even if you max it out, your chances go from 1 in 70,000 to 1 in 35,000. That's not that much difference. In general, just don't bother with it, uh, or at least get it last, because it's not going to help you. However, um, what you can do, uh, the most helpful thing, uh, is trading. Uh, now, of course, you can increase your chances of getting Menhera by uh, Sapphire Badge with more rolls. KLs is going to help a good lot because if you wish protect, that'll give you a lot higher chance of rolling a wish than Silver Badge will. Um, you've got your RT that you want to be getting because in case she's rolled while you've claimed something else, then you want to still be able to get her. I could save my RT just for Menhera, for example. That's something you can do differently. Um, but it is true that you are still going to be wanting to claim other stuff because of course all of these upgrades that I'm mentioning require Kakara and in order to get Kakara you still want to claim stuff, you still want to react to, to Kakara drops uh, underneath the characters, all the rest of it. You still want to be getting all the other badges basically is the, is the point. Um, so, the first thing to point out is that yes, it has a very low chance of actually claiming a particular character. If you're looking for just one particular character, you're probably going to be here for a while rolling. So, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you roll every single hour, or at least as close as you can get. Because the more rolls you get, the higher chance that you have of rolling the particular character that you want. Um, but yes, you are still wanting to claim, get the badges, all the rest of it. Uh, now, I mentioned trading. Trading is probably the most helpful way to get it, because obviously you rolling a particular character, pretty low chance. But let's say you're in a server with 100 people, the chances of one of them rolling the particular character, pretty high. Now, if you don't claim anything because you're just waiting for this one character po to pop up, when they then roll and claim that one character, which presumably they will do, you can't do anything about it. You've got nothing to trade, you've got no Kakara to give, no characters to give, you've, you, you just lose at that point. So what you want to do is, funnily enough, get as many high-ranked characters as possible so that the chances are when someone finally rolls your your mediocre ranked character you can trade for them pretty easily because there aren't many people that's going to turn down you know zero two in return for Menhera for example that's a really good trade deal and if all you want is Menhera you can offer that kind of trade deal and people will just accept it now this of course assumes that the people want zero two, so that's why you get a 
lot of characters. You don't divorce them that much, same as normal, because the more characters you have, the more likely it is to trade. Um, people will also trade for Kakura. Let's suppose I've got, you know, a few million Kakura stored away. If someone claims my Menherachan, I can just say, oh, I'll give you, you know, a million Kakura for a Menherachan. No one's going to turn that deal down either. And so the more Kakura you've got, the more you can offer in return for your character or characters. Um, I mean, in general, I would say to trade around the value of the character is slightly above because they'll go up in value the longer you own them. So, for example, if I didn't care about Menhera at all and I claimed her, I might trade her away for 600 Kakura. That's a 50% increase what she's worth now, and she probably won't go up more than 50% before now and the, the next reset. Um, so 600 Kakura sounds like a good deal. Let's suppose I did like Menhera though. Maybe maybe you're going to have to give me a, a, a couple of thousand Kakura even. But if you've got, you know, 16 million, giving a couple of thousand Kakura for one character is no big deal. Now, of course, if they've got 14 keys like on here, then it's a bit more of a problem because they're suddenly worth a lot more. Their value goes up, the soul keys are worth a lot. Um, I mean, the level 10 because you get your half price reacts, um, and plus you've got level 6 keys, so you're getting your free Kakura every time you roll them. Suddenly this character becomes worth a lot more. You might have to give more Kakura in order to get them. But the point still stands. You can trade Kakura for characters. You can trade other characters for characters. Like, just in general, if you have loads and loads of stuff in the bot, you're not going to find it difficult to get one particular character. You could trade multiple characters for one character as well if you want if you've got, say, a hundred characters in your harem, you could give all of them just for Menhera-chan, and then suddenly no one's going to turn down your deal, right? I think you get the point. Trading is where it's at when it comes to getting one character. Um, trading is where it's at anyway in my day, to be fair, because in general the most abusive thing that you can do in my day is always make sure that you're trading the good characters to the people that want them, getting those stonks deals either for the higher ranked characters so that you're getting more Kakura, or simply for the characters that you want. Either way, it's a win-win, because if it's not a win-win, you can just turn down the trade. Um, so yeah, Trading is certainly a way to go. Um, but you see the point. In general, you want to go for the same stuff as everyone else. Um, and that's specifically true. The same stuff. Don't just go for arbitrary high-ranked stuff. Uh, so, for example, um, there might be a server you're in where no one cares about a particular high-ranked uh, series. For example, uh, Persona. I'm not in any service where people really care about Persona, which is weird because Persona is pretty high-ranked. Um, so that means that, in my brain, I get to ignoring Persona because I know that no one really wants it. This means if there's something in your server that no one really wants, you can start ignoring that, even if it's high ranked, because what you want to go for is exactly what other people want. Uh, a lot of people get on it kind of get annoyed at this kind of thing when you're deliberately going for stuff that people want um, because of course they'll be doing the same to you and uh, people might deliberately go for Menhera because they know that I want her but that in itself isn't actually a bad thing deliberately going for stuff just means that that stuff gets claimed faster if someone claimed Menhera on a server that I'm on I would be pretty happy because it means that I don't have to go out and claim Menhera trading for a character is much easier than claiming yourself the issue only arises if the person decides not to trade for them. So that's why I would say in your server, always encourage trading for characters, because claiming someone and hoarding them for no reason doesn't actually gain you anything over the other person. The other person's just going to get annoyed. What you want to do is claim the character and then abuse the fact that they want them to get a really good trade deal. Because on the other side of the coin, I might see someone that really wants Menherachan go, right, I'm going to try and go for Menherachan. I'll put her on my wish list and I'll claim her whenever she goes past. And then the advantage of this is that then I can trade for zero two or something like that and get a really, really cool high rank for my efforts. Again, much easier than getting zero two myself. Um, so it's a win-win situation for everyone in, in things like that. And you want to make sure that everyone's trading, everyone's trying to get actual benefits for themselves rather than just hoarding random wishes. But anyway, I think you get the point now, so I'm going to end this video here. Bye!